Good morning. Time to make the coffee. Today's Ticino is mocha. I have one more packet after this. I'm going to keep drinking this until uh, I use it all up. Otherwise, it'll just be sitting there for a few more years because that's what happens with things that you don't finish. They just sit there. So today's video is a compilation of Saturday and Sunday. Yesterday I uploaded my Timu haul, which was sponsored by the Timu company. Really great stuff. So if you didn't see that video, uh, check it out if you have any interest. So I will be ordering from them again because I really liked the uh, things that I got. So today, yesterday, well, let me start out. Yesterday was a gorgeous day, absolutely gorgeous. I had to go get my elephant ears because uh, I didn't want them to not have any anymore. So I got those from a local nursery, and they were about $25 a piece, but I want to keep those as house plants after the summer. So I got those, and I did end up getting my... Um, annuals because I wanted um, zinnias and there was kind of slim picking on pickings on the zinnias and once marks flowers once they quit getting more flowers then that's it then they just sell them out and they're done it's not an ongoing thing with them they just have them in the spring so I did pick those up and uh, this coming up week, I want to start planting those. But today, there's rain in the forecast again. Same with tomorrow, but it is going to be warmer. It's going to be in the upper 60s, lower 70s. So that's perfect for working outside in the garden, in my opinion. So um, I still have some soup today. I don't really need to cook anything. Um, I've got lots of lettuce that I have to start eating up. So I think I'll cook myself some hard-boiled eggs and have that in my salad. And that sounds really good. So other than that, um, I don't know, today I still have to get a few annuals. I want to get begonias, maybe a few impatience. I'm transitioning over to the begonias because last year they did pretty well. They actually did better than the impatience. So let's give this coffee a taste. This Ticino. Kind of dark over here. There we go. So you could see the day was a little bit starting out cloudy. Cheers. But, thank goodness for electricity. We can always turn on some lights. Yep, that's good. I think that's almost my favorite. Uh, the, the mocha. I don't know. So anyway, turning on the light, a friend of mine uh, just got a um, one of those blue lights that you can sit under if you have seasonal affective disorder. And he says that he feels much better since he's been sitting under the light. Another thing you might want to check is uh, your B level of vitamins and also your D. Um, when I started this stomach medication, I stopped taking my vitamins. So I'm starting to take them again, and I do notice a difference, even if it's a placebo effect, who knows. But uh, I do notice I have a little bit more energy when I take my, my uh, vitamins and supplements. Now I take K2 plus D, which is a really good combination if you take vitamin D. Um, there, there's a whole thing that goes on about... Uh, calcium in the blood and getting it into the bones. So the K2 comes in with that. But do a little research if you're interested in that. Um, so anyway, well, I'm going to enjoy my coffee. And um, 
I'll be back in a little bit and we'll take a look at my budget book. Okay, so I'm back in the car. I'm going to go get my mojito elephant ear. Um, and I'm also going to stop at Mark's and get a couple of double shepherd hooks if they have them anymore. I was going to get them the last time I went there, but I just ran out of fuel and I just didn't feel like shopping anymore, so I left them there. But now I know where I can put them. I want to um, do something with my wind chimes and hang up a couple of uh, hanging baskets. So I'll go to Mark's first and then I'm going to go to Uncle John's plant farm <clears throat> and pick up a mojito elephant ear. So it's a beautiful day, just perfect. Um, and it's going to be sunny all day, actually. So tomorrow is supposed to be nice too. There's no rain in the forecast, I think until Wednesday, but then it's just showers. It's like partly cloudy, partly sunny. So it should be a good week to make a lot of progress in the garden. And I still would like to plant my bulbs and corms today. I have some uh, different things and also my strawberries. I bought some strawberry plants. But I'd like to try and sow those seeds that I saved from that slice of strawberry and see if they come up. But I really need to get my greenhouse set up because I'd like to bring my starts out and put them in the greenhouse, but I can't do that right now. Actually, I could put them in my little greenhouse. That would work. Hmm. I didn't think of that before. So I might end up doing that, just bringing my little starts out and start hardening them off because I'd like to plant them like the end of next week, the beginning of the following week. So another thing I'm planning to do is cover everything so the birds don't pick out the new little starts because sometimes they tend to do that or the chipmunks will get in there and they have a feast. So since my garden is all fenced off, I don't really have a lot of problems with things like a deer, a, a dove taking a walk in the middle of the road. Um, I don't really have a problem with deer except for in the open area behind my property. So um, that, uh, that should be good to go. But I do want to cover my little starts. So I better pay attention here to what I'm doing. There we go. All right. <clears throat> I always slow down for the little animals if I see them crossing the road. Some people don't care. They just keep going. I mean, they don't even care if a person's crossing the road sometimes. They just, you know, go which is kind of not a good thing. So anyway, all right, I'm gonna sign off for now, go do what I need to do. Gas is up to 352 again. Can you hear the bells? St. Mary's Church must be calling to service. Well, it's not high noon. I know it plays at high noon, but it's only 11. So anyway, I'm going to sign off for now and I'll be back later. Okay, well here is the fountain I'm trying to build. I've had this pot forever. I've had these stones forever. It used to be a fountain that was destroyed. I've had that fish forever. These pots have been here for 20 some years. 
they've really held up. So I'm going to see what I can put together with that. I think it'll look okay. I need to get some rocks to put in there. I'm not going to put flowers because the dogs jump up on there all the time. So I'll keep my flowers to here and over here. It's still a mess. And then over here, I hung this up here and I want to put a little gnome garden in there. I'm not going to put flowers. I'm just going to put a little gnome garden. Um, so let me show you what I got. Okay, so I have been... I didn't do a lot of digging or anything like that in the dirt. I just um, came home and I was just too tired. So, But this all looks good now. It's ready to be planted. I just need to put uh, fresh some fresh dirt. I'm not going to dump all this, but I'll add some fresh dirt. So... Um, what I've been doing is just kind of moving pots around because they were all over the yard. So these two will stay here. I'll plant probably impatience in those. That's what I usually plant, and they do well. Um, over here, I felt like it needed something tall, and I bought a clematis a while back. So I'm going to put that in there so that it'll climb up. I bought this beautiful fuchsia that's going to be going on my deck. And I moved my starts out here so that they um, can get a little more sun. So over here, by the fountain, I put my little statue. I've had all this stuff forever. And I think I might put a couple of little plants, some sort of greenery there. I don't know. I also bought this very big um, citronella plant. I've never seen one that big. I mean, I'm sure they get that big, but the nursery never sold any that big. And this was $9.99, but <laughs> look at the stem on this. And I think I'm going to try and take some cuttings from it so that I have more than one. So it's getting there. And then I move these pots around. They're, these small ones probably aren't going to stay there. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with those yet. And these pots here, I'm just going to dump the dirt and reuse the dirt in these pots but I'm going to keep these four and plant flowers in there. And I don't know, I was thinking maybe planting one of my grapes in here in this big pot. It's a big pot and hope that they overwinter. Um, and then over here, I just have Dollar Tree planters. I don't know where I'm going to put that yet. It can't stay there because I have to be able to open up that gate. So that's what I did today. Uh, I moved these red planters that were just sort of roaming around the yard. I planted those on either side of here, and I think I'm going to put all my cannas in there. So, and then here is here are the two mojitos, uh, not mojitos. Well, this one's a mojito, elephant ear. And this one, I forget what this one is, but it's got this beautiful lime green and dark leaves. Beautiful. So, and it's got little babies coming up. I'm going to try and bring those in for house plants. Oh, and I see my clematis is going to bloom. This is a dark, dark purple. And it's been on death's door a couple times because of the dogs. But now it's a little more safe in here. So that's it. That's what I've been doing today. Just kind of seeing what I want to keep, what I want to get rid of. 
Probably some of the smaller pots are just going to go. It's too hard to keep them watered. So, and I think last year, I'm pretty sure this is bergamot, and I planted this last year, and none of it came up. It's supposed to be good in coffee. So, I don't know, but I'm going to try it. So one little plant came up. I still have some seeds from it, so we'll see. So still lots of cleaning up to do. That's kind of what I'm focusing on right now. And then I'm going to have to plant my stuff. All right. Well, here is a good portion of my starts ready to go out in the garden. So, well, they need to sit out here and harden off first. But anyway, uh, tomatoes, pepper, a couple eggplants, some asparagus, and some perennials. So, not too bad for seeds that uh, I started. I think in March I started those. So, these will be living out here for about a week, and then I'm going to start planting them in my little um, container garden. My little food forest, and hopefully you will live long and prosper, my dear friends. Well, okay, I'm going to plant my winter-sown lettuce in here, and I have some all-purpose plant food that I stuck in there, and I'm starting to use my homemade plant food from my iDo. So, here is the lettuce that I want to plant. And I hope it doesn't bolt right away, but we'll see. So this is probably too much for in here, so I'll plant some other places too. But yes, the planting has started. Okay, well, I got all the lettuce planted. I know it looks a little sad, but it'll perk up. And I got most of these pots emptied out, except for this one. That one needs to be emptied out yet. So that looks better. And over here, I planted more lettuce. I had a lot of lettuce. And then here I planted my dill. I know it's way too thick, but I'll thin it out as it grows. So I got the dill and the lettuce planted, and I planted a little bit more dill over here because, again, I didn't know what to do with it. So, and this is my beautiful oregano. It's really nice this year. So. Oh, I've had it. Oh, and then in here I planted cannas. There's four in there. Four in there. So that'll look nice when it grows up. Over here is my garbage. Not, nothing to look at. And in here I planted three cannas and um, a clematis, which was pretty dried out, so I don't have much hope for that. I'll probably have to get another one. So, okay, that's it for the garden today. I'm tired, but it's starting to shape up. So, tomorrow we'll do a little bit more. Okay, well, I just had to get off my feet. It was just it's lots of bending over. Moving those pots, Ooh. moving those pots and uh, dragging those things around and dumping the dirt and that's well, it's good exercise anyway. So, but um, I can only do that for an hour or two and then I've had it. So that's it for me today. I'm gonna go hop in the shower, have some dinner. I still have some soup that I made the other day, so I'm happy about that. And uh, keep it simple. All right, my friends, that's all I have for you today. I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. 
Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching.